now to crush this thing properly. Decisively. Combat is the best teacher. Basilius Pantolion the Holy has become a more proficient commander. Excellent! My grandson Basilios makes sure everyone gets exactly the same amount of whatever sweet the cook gives the children. I am so proud of him. Alright, we captured more people. And we finally finished off the Fatima Doomstack. You will be educated in the ways of diplomacy. Excellent. Successful mission to Nietzsche. Um, orthodoxy spreads. Let's bring orthodoxy to Spain. Right, we should also probably consider picking up the Spaniards. Yeah. The Fatimids are challenging me to a battle of Doomstacks. I think I'm winning. Beloved daughter Barbara is not concerned that she's still not married. I will find her someone nice. She's only 16. Um, let's get her married to... She's not a genius, so she's a... Mm-hmm. Sure, this... Oh, he's 55 years old. Meh, but it's really nearly married to this lustful old guy. It'll do. Uh, new Grand Mayor of Sicily. Horrible, there's now a heresy. Question is, are you a heretic? No, you're not. You like me. Good. We're gonna get along just fine. Wrong government time and harsh city tax, but that's okay, we're still good buddies. Mind you, that 69 will become like... We'll lose like 25 and it'll become 40. Minus the scholar, it goes down to 20. So whenever a um, succession comes over, we'll have a real problem. Go down to at least 20. May go down further. Yay! We're crushing Fatim in stacks that are trying to ram into me. I have another stack here that'll just unload itself here. I just don't feel lustful anymore. That was quick. I think I'm gonna try to score myself some other women. Oh no, I don't feel like it anymore. Apparently, getting shut down by Alexeia was just too much for him. Silly Pantolian. Keep my retinue on the sidelines there. I will, however, go, go fetch the Spaniards. Oh, oh, oh. Nef Nefud. Hashemids are having succession issues. Oh wait, I'm also noticing that uh, the Ilkhanat is falling apart. And in a quite huge way too. This is not a small break in the Ilkhanat. This is a pretty big succession crisis. He's turning out well. Usury is a sin, as I keep saying. Have the Spaniards 
bogomilist heresy. No! Why must there be heretics and heathens everywhere? The question is, are you a bogomilist? No, however, you're a stupid Catholic. Convert, you heathen! Good. Dare you be swayed by another man's god? I will never sell Sparta off. Well done, brigands. I think sometimes we go up to like 4,000 money and then we're like, we're constantly in the negatives. Oh, 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 wait, there's a little battle here that needs to be fought at the top. Crush whoever this guy is. Attack weakens. I have our morale going down faster than theirs. The attack weakens. My god. We almost lost this. And we had twice the army they had. So now that I think about it... Oh no! You're kidding me! I fought so hard! I fought so hard to get Damieta before this split would happen again. Now I'm getting shafted by it anyway. Ugh! My god. This calls for a categorical. This child clearly has potential. We will get all the troops out of there. We will do something unexpected. We will cause the war on uh, Damietta to end. Dismiss these troops. Dismiss these troops. And now... Dismiss all of the levies, all of the fleets, thus allowing us to declare more wars. Clearly the Rafikid just thinks highly of himself. Way too highly of himself. Oh, what is this? Armeniacon? Oh, nice! Nice, my vassals are holy warring for their own lands. I'm so proud of you guys. Are we considered allied with him still? Yeah, we are. Then why can't I call him to war still? Chancellor just went to crap real fast. Where did his 29 go? I'm guessing he turned out to be a dud or to have like artificially inflated his diplomacy temporarily. Just to get that job and cause my other Chancellor to die. Alright, well, we need diplomatic relationships here. Stat. So we definitely want to call them into war again. Um, the 
this Rafik Quit guy thinks way too highly of himself and annoys me. Oh, I have a truce with him. God damn it. Can't actually go to war with him. Who's the ruler of Alexandria? You. This one is down there, I don't care. Mm. I can, however, holy war for Sibiriot, um, which would take care of that. Is Samos independent? Yeah, you are. Ah, oh, excellent. I'll just hold you off for some. Wait, no? Oh, I'm bankrupt. God damn it. Let us let our money go back up. I'll have no part in this scheme. Never! dying of infected wounds money going up really fast negative 10 9 come on come on money no Aww. this game this game it is teasing me there's a stack of my vessels never That is just going to war on its own. I like that. It will make very strong vassals, but I can accept that. Uh, limited? Ignore, I don't care. Croatia is below me. It should serve me, actually. Um. Authority. Congratulations. We are positive! We are in the positive. Can't go to war for this thing. Can't go to war for that thing. I can. Oh, Ulster is already going to war for it. Fine, Ulster, you take it. Actually, no, I'll still go to war with it. Independent. Now the question is Sibiriot or Charsimon? I think I prefer Sibiriot because it's bigger and it's there. So yeah, we'll go to war for that. Um, is Cairo independent? Your own guy. Yeah, okay. We can holy war Cairo and Cairo. This is way too fragmented. Not independent. The Ashamids are growing huge. Um, however, that is an opportunity to nab Kaido while we can. So I think we should do that. Kaido at least won't split off into a another of those silly games. Raise the Byzantine legions once more. We're going to war once more. The Irishman can. Hmm. 
more boats. All of the wars, all of them. Um, you spawn how many boats? 13 ships. That is kind of sad. However, if I hit Casti, Casti's busy. What happens if I raise your boats? It's only 13 boats. Yeah, okay, Spain currently doesn't generate much boats. Which shouldn't come as a surprise since most of what I own in Spain is mainland Spain. And the best part about this situation is they can infight all they want, the Arabs won't take that land away from them. Okay, the Irishmen will unite. Here, the Serbians can come here. Uh, the Greek Peninsula can unite here. These troops can go to Samos. Sixteen thousand troops can unite here. Maybe more than 16,000, whatever. Mosul is going to expand on its own. Yeah, it seems Mosul will be fine after all. Our only real losses turned out to be Oman and Hale, which we'll eventually get back from the Ashimids if time permits, considering we're in 1282 already. Um, yeah. Definitely gonna be interesting when the Timurids show up, though. Ilkhanat is weak, but the Golden Horde is still very strong. Yeah. Uh, Chancellor of, Ils of Istria. They better not use it! That bastard! Let's get the troops united. Shyness is a terrible curse. I'll talk with him. Guessing he's not shy anymore. Alright. Irishmen are ready for departure. Bring the Irishmen to Cairo. Okay. Oubliette for you. I don't know who you are, so I don't care. Um. Boats. The ferry across the full might of the Serbian army. Such a good thing, Serbia's on my side. Oof. Usury is a sin. We'll get money by plundering land. Duchy of Colonia, alright. Oh, nice, they won their war. We're slowly retaking Armenia. Hooray! Let's go to Quena! And kill everything in our way. is kind of bad. Oh no! Well, they reunited. Okay. Got to end 
ended most of our wars rather fast. I also unfortunately reset the state of a few of those counties. Or counties. Which is nothing short of annoying since we have taken most of them yet already. And we were in an amazing position to just take every. What's going on? Ah! <laughs> uh. Why? Why are these guys so annoying? You know, it's like every time I do something, this guy breaks off. At least the good news is we ended up taking Samos out of the deal. So I guess in that sense it was worth it. Ulster had time to take Samo, so it's one less thing that's going to be annoying, but still. Okay. Now we're losing the war against the Fatimids. A war that, I'll remind you, we were winning rather decisively. My god, our armies are just getting the right now. Uh. once more. Letting himself get the burgers, the clergy, and the barons all claim the right to spoils from shipwrecks and capsize outside of Trake. The rights to the spoils will be given to <laughs> the crown. Oh crap, they caught up to me. No! Yeah, you keep attritioning yourself. dead. Alright. Mm, the duty get out of Achaia is recognized dire fine and NEVER! Stop that trying to touch my lands. My lands! What are you doing anyway? War for Prince Latif's claim on Egypt. You're such a jerk. You're such an annoying pest. I feel for the Fatimids right now. And that's a feat, like you've made me feel bad for the Fatimids. I hope you're proud of yourself. More people dying. 
child needing education. Keep forgetting about those. Uh, oh, I have an epic white beard now. Pantoleon's reign has given us an epic white beard as a finale. I approve. And you wasn't Eugenius also? No, Eugenius was clean shaven and 87. Pantoleon won't live nearly as long because of his main trait, though. He will, however, have an epic beard as he goes out. That is appropriate. It is only right. Usury is a sin! Oh my god, if I get a uh, succession crisis with this usury problem. Come on, just finish this stupid war. Are you going anywhere? No, you're just gonna sit there and be a general pain in the ass. Where are my boats anyway? I should have another fleet of boats. Alright, I sent them there. Get to the boats. I'm just come and pick up. Uh, she's not a genius. It's not appropriate! Now let's get the old team together and... Uh, Oh my, we've just beaten the Patriarch at a game of Tsikanisterion while we're an old maimed fool. Oh yes. Fear the power of the old maimed. You do not underestimate the old maimed emperor of the Byzantine Empire. Uh, United Troops, we have half a doom stack in here. The Fatimid will have a lot of troops again. That's okay, we'll let them win their war against the other guy who thinks too highly of himself. And then we'll deal with whatever comes. Now this is a doom stack of acceptable proportions. Let's get it over here. Cannot reformed. Oh no! Nice. We are now at nineteen percent war score. Wait, we can unload one of the doom stacks here. And go fetch a f another doom stack elsewhere, like here. The tippy toe of Italy. Uh, you should concentrate on something useful instead. He has gained a diligent trait. Hooray! He's turning out great. Also turning out diplomat. What's with me and diplomat geniuses? Alexander Spartan. Spymaster. Alright. She does make a pretty good spymaster, yes. Why is she Scottish? Why is my daughter Scottish? Did I accidentally get her educated in Scotland? Oh my, my. Okay, I may have accidentally educated my daughter in Scotland. Now remember, we just make sure we don't win the war before the Fatimids reform, otherwise we'll be missing that one county. Uh, heightened troops morales because that's pretty much what we need right now. Get this on the boats. Aha! I knew it! Never! Unleash a doom stack! Crush the Fatimid fools!
Yeah! That turned out into an expensive victory, but, uh... We crushed him. Uh, we didn't finish him, but, uh... We crushed him, at least. Shyness is a terrible curse! I will talk with him, and he's not gregarious. Oh, and he's still shy, too. No! He really wanted to become shy. Oh my, some people are beating the Fatimids for me. I don't care who reigns on the Fatimid dynasty. I inherited country of Quatra. I don't really care. Court. Uh, random guy, random guy. Random guy. You're an old infirm. You don't have a single child, you're worthless. Next. Prince of Norway, no. Courtier and Byzantine Empire. Greek, Spartan, Orthodox. You're unfortunately 45, but you're still... You can still manage, so take... Uh, take Quatara. I'll actually create the Duchy of Alexandria and give it to you as well. I don't have the money. Never mind. Never mind. The Fatimids are being pushed back. Great news for all of Christendom. Tough sold. Only tough sold here. Oh no, he's offering peace already? Screw you. I'd only take two of the four counties. That is such a terrible proposition. You're gonna keep it. Uh, what did I wanted to check? What did I? I forget what I wanted to check. I got distracted by this peace offering, but they're gonna s eat it. My retinue is almost at maximum capacity, I guess. Reinforces relatively fast. Chomp and now it reinforced, yeah. Usury is a sin! A sin, I tell you! A lot of people are punching the Fatimids in the face again. Oh, that's why the war ended earlier, it's because the other guy died! Ah. People aren't joining him this time. Whoa, 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 whoa. No claim on the Kingdom of Ireland. No. You do not do that. Bad vassal. Bad. That's right. You were misdirected. Let's get these guys together. Still have more doom stacks on standby. Bad for public opinion, but I'm okay with that. Oh, I can finally try to. No, it's not happening, isn't it? Um. However, that will become interesting later. Is that we will be able to ask the Golden Horde to come to war with us against the Ilkhanat the next time we holy war their faces. Yeah, the Ilkhanat took Alexandretta. Holy war for Antioch, yeah. The Ilkhanat will take all of Antioch. As it should. And then I can only war the Ilkhanat for Antioch. Mm -hmm. Retinue's almost full. Almost. And then they'll stop being a drain on my finances. That's gonna be great. That is going to be so great. I swear we've spent the last five years rebuilding our retinue. Uh, 
siege of Damietta. Let's get the old team together. We must do again sometime. King of Serbia. Oh, nice. He's on my. He's of my dynasty. Serbia is held by Spartans. I don't know how this happened, but this is awesome. I don't care to give you a strong claim. Actually, I could get rid of a prince bishop. Uh, anywho, uh, yeah, great stuff. They've reformed. He's attacking me. There are aliens. Oh, they're not. There's the other army here. Get the army out. Go fetch the other doom stack. Bigger army will go down here. Let's trouble some peasants. There we go. This is what we had set out to do all along. How appropriately holy a music we are given in this grand moment of because he needed the deer more than me. I went there. Alright, you're a genius who's unfortunately shy, so you're not good enough. But, who cares? Excellent. The siege lengthens. Oh no. Who is he? He died in an accident. And he was married regularly? To my princess? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Dare he get married to someone of my family not matrilinearly? Oh. Oh well. France is having fun down there. Uh. Fatimans stay together. You think he's still dealing with the other vassal, but that's okay. I don't really care about the other vassal. 100%! Give me all of it! Ah oh, yes! We have taken the peninsula. Let's drop all of our armies. Drop the fleets, drop the armies. Our retinue is still chilling over there. Drop the army, drop the fleet. Great! Completely great. We have taken Damietta in its entirety. We are now the sole ruler of Damietta. It's about time. We're slowly wiping the Fatimids off the face of this planet and therefore our empire. I'm guessing this is also getting Holy Ward. Yep, you're getting Holy Ward. Acceptable. Now why isn't my Chancellor giving me friendship with the Golden Horde? I want my friendship with the Golden Horde. Why aren't we friends more? Also I need more money. To throw it at them. I'll dismiss.
this view. Do I still have standing armies anywhere else that I missed? I missed a stack somewhere. Oh well. Problem solved. Send gift. Yay! We have expanded! Effortlessly! Charity races are scheduled to be held soon at the Hippodrome. Eight charities from the traditional blue and green teams will be competing for glory on the track. You may choose to throw your weight behind one of these factions and bet on them in a show of support. Um... You know what? I will gamble money away! Um, blue or green? Blue or green? Do I feel blue or green? I feel purple, that's what I feel. Um, purple is red and blue, so I'm gonna go for the blues. Yes, that will be my logic. Because I'm a gambler. Iginolf Billing died bedridden and infirm. With a shit ton of money and inheritance. Alright. Uh, you will most likely vassalize if you take my money. Yeah. Done. It was close, but the blue team emerged as the winner of their 10th final lap. Their triumphant charioteer makes a victory lap to the cheers of ecstatic crowds. When he passes on your seat, he bows his head as a sign of respect and gratitude. I know how to pick a winner, that's right! Just take apart the color of our empire and use that as a justification for... betting. Gamblers World Ride, remember, choose your favorite color and split it apart when you must gamble on a collar. Because that's how Byzantium did it. And got 50 gold richer for it. Um. Oh my, Denmark is getting Finland. Norway's having civil war again. The Golden Horde is, uh. Not doing anything quite meaningful right now. How much does a gift for them cost? 225 gold. Alright. Um, I believe I can give all of these lands away. You. Xua, you love me. You're 30. You have no really negative trait. Gabiyaha, you will take that. Take it. Uh, this is Damietta proper. We have one choice still. Ambitious. I don't like you. Fine. I'll have to give Damietta to someone else. Okay, here. You are amazing, so I will grant you Pelusia. County of Pelusia. Take it. Here is Manupura. We have one vassal. We have, actually have two choices. You're content. You have shitty stats, but you're content. You're also content, and you have better stats. I think the decision is not hard to make. Manupura goes here. Uh, and now we need to pick one random courtie we have. Azov of Godwin? No. Isaias of Heraclea, Greek Orthodox, 38. Yeah, you'll do. Take them yet. Okay. Great. Very great. Interesting, the Hashimids are falling apart. We need just a little more money. We need this guy to get friendship again. We will try another round of invading the Ilkhanat. And now they're heathens and infidels, they hate each other. This would make things a lot easier. One of the eunuchs at the Imperial Court distinguished himself and caught the attention of your advisors, though they are unusually usually of the jealous kind, allowed to admit redeeming qualities in others, even they cannot deny the promise of this young man. 
Very well, bring this man before me. He will serve me well. We have a knight called Constantinos that joined our court. How good is he, really? He's a eunuch. He has 26 spy master score. Sorry, but uh, you lost your space, uh, old spy master. Make way to the awesome spy master of awesome. All right. Chancellor, why are you not giving me good news about Aral? I need a friend. Before a holy war like Baghdad or something. The Duchy of Syria has four things. Uh, Aleppo has five. Oh, called arms. Against Ilkhanat? Holy War for Quarzim? Sure. I won't actually participate, but sure! You guys can fight each other to your heart's content. How does that affect our relationships? He likes us! Yay! That was positive. Honored alliance. Good. But he's currently at war with Ilkhanat. Oh, 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 they have weak sons. And he's content, too. That's gonna be pleasant to deal with. Oh, we have an inbred. <laughs> nice, the current Golden Horde leadership is inbred and incompetent. Hopefully, that'll make them fall apart. How many land holdings does he have? 390 and 93. We're at 589. We have access to power, much greater than the Golden Horde. They are still by far our number one rival, but... Uh, let's put it to Croatia. We need to do something about Croatia. Can I usurp the kingdom? What am I missing to usurp? I can usurp it! Screw you, I'm king of Croatia, bitches. Oh yes, I even used language, because this was pleasant. I am now king of Croatia. Bow to me. You're not independent. The drunkard of Slavonia. Uh, yep, and now they're isolated. Therefore, well, they won't vassalize because false religion, because their interpretation of Christ is messed up. <laughs> Holy Roman Empire is huge. I think the HRE is actually... Yeah, it's it's actually much closer to my power level. Invasion is still impossible. Oh well. England is falling apart again. Great stuff. Truly, truly great stuff. Hey, apparently I own. Oh, right, I forgot. I took that ages ago. Uh, because he needed the deer more than me. Kind. Yay! Kind and just. You are a great son. Or your grandson. You're a grandson. Mm, more people dying. Money's going up. Admiring our hard work at punching the Fatimids in the face. For ruining our Spartan start. Our retinue is once more ready for action. Ooh, more Tsikani Stadion. Let's do it! I have won. I have bested you in battle. Or in Tsikani... Tsikani on whatever that is. I need to look that up sometime. I'm curious now. 
Expansion looking nice. Hmm. Alright. I believe on that note, this is as good a place as any to stop for now, so... In the next episode, we will ponder our next options for expansion. Probably the Riyadh did. So, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.